G'day guys, Jay Cini here and welcome to another episode on the Australian Wealth Channel. And in this episode, we're gonna be talking about what it takes to be successful. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps to get these videos out to more people. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what it takes to be successful. Now, of course, naturally, uh, this is a very big world. There's a lot of people in it. We have a lot of different definitions of success. But of course, there's some things which do line up, uh, which are not so arbitrary, which can lead to a more fulfilling and happy life. Now, by a lot of metrics, um, I've been pretty pretty lucky with, with my life. Um, my, my business has been quite successful. It allows me to provide a great living for not only myself, but for my, uh, for my wife. And uh, I have a very fulfilling career, which I, I enjoy. I get to contribute a lot to uh, the broader community. And of course, I really enjoy my time here on this earth. Now, there's a few different things which I did, which I think are really valuable and really help people to getting to a point where they feel really happy with their life. I notice a lot in this day and age, there seems to be a lot of misery and despair amongst people that are about my age. I'm, I'm 30 years old. And for me, it's beyond me why a lot of these people aren't taking those steps that are necessary to continue to improve your life and, and make it better. Um, and people just seem to get themselves on a downward spiral by, uh, I guess, doing like having habits that aren't really conducive uh, to, to a good good life. It's very important to not only talk about the things that you should do uh, to be successful, but also the things that you should definitely avoid. What are the things that you don't want in your life that's gonna stop you from having success? And for me, one of the biggest things which I've cut out recently, which I think has really helped and improved uh, my outlook on life and my general in enjoyment of existence has got to be stopping drinking. Now, this isn't going to be a popular one because I know a lot of people love to go out and uh, and, and have a drink. Uh, and of course, you know, the odd drink here or there is not going to do too much damage. But um, I recently had a bit of a health issue over the last year or so, uh, which I personally believe was brought on by drinking. Now, I've been a muso by trade, so don't worry, I gave it a really good nudge over the last 13 years. But I've noticed ever since I started um, stopping drinking that um, I just feel a lot clearer in my mind and I'm a lot more focused on the goals that I want to achieve. Now, there's a saying about alcohol, which I think is a brilliant saying, uh, but drinking alcohol is basically robbing happiness from tomorrow. And I think a lot of people can really relate to that because it's very much true. I totally uh, understand that to, to a great deal. Um, but I'm not saying that you have to stop drinking if, if you want to be successful. You know, I, I'd achieved a lot of success even while I was drinking. But it's something that's just really helped me a little bit to, to tighten that up a little bit uh, so I can keep my mind a little bit clearer. So that's something that I found uh, was really helpful uh, to increasing my level of fulfillment and success. Now, Something else that I want to talk about is that it's not always money that makes a person successful. You know, I personally believe that that's just one component of a much broader picture. It's really important that you have fulfillment in your life. Now, if you're making an absolute ton of money doing a job that you really hate, then what kind of a life is that? I mean, you're wasting your time, you're wasting your energy just trying to get money so you can go and enjoy life at another time. It's very important, I personally believe, to link those two things together. Make heaps of money and do something that you really enjoy doing at the same time. And that way you'll find you're, you're a lot more fulfilled in the job that you are doing. So how is it that you get fulfillment from a job? I think the best way to get fulfillment from a job is to do something that effects beyond yourself. So you're contributing to something that is a larger cause. And you know, this is obviously a very evolutionary thing. People that did things together uh, to create something greater obviously worked really well because humans have, have done amazing things when we've worked uh, in, in teams and we've really moved the needle in a lot of aspects when we've worked together. Uh, so evolutionary, it makes sense to be doing something that's affecting um, affecting the world just beyond you. Um, that's, I find that that's going to be a lot more fulfilling than potentially just having, you know, kind of a one-track mind and just going out there to, to, to make heaps of money and, you know, just do that. I think it's much more important to 
have that in conjunction uh, with something that you also really enjoy. So it's important to be working towards something with other people or to be contributing to something that's larger than yourself. So that could be contributing to your family, that could be contributing to your community, it could be contributing to an industry sector, but it's really important that you become one of the best in your field by working really hard and that way you can bring as much to the table as possible. And I find that personally in my life that's created a lot of fulfillment there. So uh, it's a point that I really can't stress enough is to find something uh, that is really fulfilling for you and contributing to something larger. Now, Becoming successful, it just doesn't happen overnight. It's basically impossible to go from zero to hero overnight. You know, you hear a lot about overnight successes, especially in the music industry or or in any other industry, but it's just not the case. There's a lot of work that goes in behind the scenes to make it appear as though someone has gone from zero to hero overnight. Uh, Take Chris Stapleton. I don't know if you guys know Chris Stapleton, but he is a country music artist. He was playing in Nashville for about 15 years, writing songs, honing his craft, getting better and better every single week. And no one had ever heard of him, but then he got that break and all of a sudden he's blown up to be a huge country music artist. Now, this is the case in a lot of industries. It's those small 1% changes every single day, just aim to get a little bit better every day, learn something new, increase those skills. Maybe you can take the skills from one domain and another domain, combine them together, and what you'll find is you create a synergy and maybe a perspective that is really unique, which allows you to flourish and have great success. You know, you want to have those skills that are pretty valuable and pretty rare. Um, I get hired for a lot of jobs, especially in the video world, purely because people know that I am going to deliver. There is a track record there and people know that they can trust me to deliver a great job for them. And they're not so much fussed about the price because they know that they're going to get an excellent product. And I think that's something to be aiming for is to be able to deliver when people want you to deliver, regardless of what that is. You know, it could be any sector, but people love working with people that are reliable and they'll continue to come to you for work. And and you really want to be someone that people can rely on in this world because there's a lot of people that you can't rely on. Uh, so, so anything you can do uh, to, to make people feel as though you're a very reliable person you can deliver. You know, that's saying it's going to be great. And that, of course, feeds into something uh, that is going to be bigger than you. Uh, which is what I talked about before. So 1% every day. You know, maybe it's uh, part of your fitness journey. Maybe it's part of uh, making money. There's a lot of different aspects, but I find if you continue to work on these slowly, all of these different domains, whether it be fitness, business, just you as a person becoming a better person, then that is is the way that you can get yourself to a place where you feel like you have a successful life. Now, the trick is once you get there, you gotta maintain it. You can't slip back into old bad habits. It's really important that you continue to move forward in life and you maintain those great habits that have helped you to achieve success over time. Now, of course, you can't judge uh, based on what other people are doing. A lot of people are in different parts of their life. I know for me, uh, to to compare myself to someone that's making, say, $10 million a year, it's going to be really difficult for me to wrap my head around because, you know, that's quite a different place uh, from where I am personally at the moment. And of course, as as you start to earn more money, it gets harder to find those people to work with. Uh, But, you know, it's as simple as going from 25 grand a year to 50, 50 grand a year to 100, 100 to 200, 200 to half a million dollars. You know, there is a process and there's a way of doing these things. And the way to improve that is to always be learning. There's there's a bottleneck somewhere that's stopping you from getting to the next level of wealth. And that's something that I'm personally working on myself. Um, I think it's really important to continually unlock all of these things and learn new things and learn from people so that you can continue to level up in your life and provide more value for people. So those are some tips. I hope these are 
really helpful uh, from some of the experiences I've had. I think that's the wonderful thing about YouTube is we can share these experiences um, so we can learn from each other's mistakes. Um, I know I've personally learned a lot uh, from people that are making a lot of money and uh, have really successful lives on YouTube. Uh, so I feel like it's really important to give back and, uh, and teach what I've actually learned over time. Uh, because, you know, if we all start to do better, then that's just better for the world in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know um, if there's there's some things that maybe resonated with you and uh, maybe you have some other tips about uh, living a successful life. But be really keen to hear them in the comments. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps to get these videos out to more people. So thanks so much for watching. I'm in the car today because I have a, have a show tonight, but I just had a little bit of time uh, that I want to share all of this with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Jay Sini. We'll see you later. Oh, 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 oh,